welcome back to another video here on free wolf photos so you guys have probably seen me edit this particular image in the past with the white balance being all sorts of out of whack and i just want to see what brilliance ai will do to this image now notice i'm using a jpeg image i will test this also on a raw image later on but i just want to see what brilliance ai will do to this particular photo so let's go ahead and click it and this is the initial result and i can modify this however i i need to right uh, because i have the color slider pulled all the way up and this is where that white balance is coming in again this is really valuable for anyone who shoots mainly in jpeg because you get the ability to change some of these settings and if I wanted to, you know, bring back a little bit of the life of whatever, uh, you know, warm tones were in the image, then I can do so. Or I can just go to the extreme right and really pull that all the way up. I'm going to reset that and I'm going to actually pull this down just a little bit uh, because I think that this looks pretty good. And of course, I can come in and fine tune all of this. I can't change the camera profile but I do have the ability to come in and modify the, the vibrance. And if I felt like it needed a little bit more saturation, because I really do enjoy the JPEG straight out of my Canon R6. And you know, this is with the R6 Mark II, but I'll probably try and open the shadows and you know, I get a little bit of leeway here. Now I can jump over here to my AI styles and I can click on the my styles and see what on one thinks uh, this photo should have. Now, I have been running into a situation where it doesn't give me a lot of previews to what I would personally like to see done on the photo. Uh, like, I don't know where the black and white styles are that comes up uh, every now and again, but hopefully you know, as I use this software more and the AI styles, I start to see that. But nothing is really speaking to me here, and that's okay. I actually like this style. This one doesn't look too bad. But let's go over here to the On One team and see what On One would recommend. And there's some black and white styles in here. So we probably won't go with that one. <laughs> uh,. And this one isn't too bad. You know, it's not the, the style that I would personally like. Uh, this one, it seems like there's some uh, dynamic contrast that is really pushing the limits on this particular uh, profile, so to speak. So come here now. I actually kind of like this one. So I'm going to click this style. And the reason I like this one is just how it's dealing with the saturation. That, that's kind of my, my thing here. However, I think that it's a LUT that's causing that. So I'm just gonna pull back on the opacity. Let me turn this off. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to pull back on it quite a bit. And now this is telling me, or at least looking at this, I need to brighten up the entire image. So this is where I come back to develop and you know this is kind of how you just work with your overall photos to get that final look but you know this is something that i would say is my final image i would be happy with this i could work with that and you know it's subtle enough that no one would really notice and you know now that i'm looking at it the dynamic contrast probably needs some help let's see if i can fix some of the uh the highlights and maybe even put a mask on this, right? So we'll come over here and let's go ahead and make sure we're on paint out. So erase, or actually I want to invert it. And then I'll go to paint in and I'm just going to paint this where I want the dynamic contrast, which I think on her clothing, it's fair. I don't want it on her skin and I'm not painting this perfectly. I'm just painting this loosely because I don't think it needs to be like crazy painted. But what I was really trying to do is remove some of that definition from our hair. Now, one thing, you know, didn't really want to get into the overall brushing and stuff. I'm changing my opacity to 60 here. And that 
that way I'm not painting a whole lot onto her overall here. So I'll pull this down and it just makes it a little bit more natural and realistic to what's going on. If I hit the letter O, you can see my keyboard shortcut uh, shows me that I have painted this on pretty decently. Good enough for what I'm trying to accomplish. I think I can get a little bit over here, but this is just, you know, nitpicky, fine tuned. I'm not worried so much about all of that uh, extra, but I will turn on Portrait AI. I know that I said that I was going to finish that and or take a look at Portrait AI. I'm sorry. I know that I already uh, applied this with the Brilliance AI. However, what I want to do is brighten up her eyes just a touch because, you know, this is a portrait and that's a very subtle brightening, but I like it. And then I'll give a little bit of detail to there and I will enhance her eyebrows because she has some pretty well-defined eyebrows. So I will enhance those and she is exposing some teeth. So let's just pull up on the teeth whitening here just a little bit. And let's see if the lip vibrancy uh, helps out, which I think it does help for her. So I got no complaints with what that did there. You know, I think I want to go with a little bit of brightness in her face. Just a touch. Something like that, right? Because this is a portrait of a person. So we very quickly uh, went from something that looks like this that you would probably be like, oh man, I got to throw this away to something like this that you could 100% use and share and do whatever it is that you want to do. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do inside of On One Photo Raw, even with a JPEG image. If you got questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to save some money over on the On One store, consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20 at checkout. That'll save you some money on anything that you purchase over at the On One website. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.